All right, I have a little bit of embarrassing news here. So, as you might know, I went to Coromandel Camp, which is like one of the hilliest places to go for a ride, um, for a training camp in New Zealand. And I brought my training wheels, <coughs> this wheel here, with a cassette of 1125 on there, with a 39 small chain ring. So, I was absolutely grinding up all of the climbs and just destroyed my quads and hamstrings. And I was like, oh, that's strange. Why aren't they on my carbon wheels? And then that had a 25 on it as well. I was like, well, I know I have a 28. Turns out I have my 28 on the most useless place to put my cassette. Yeah, on my wind trainer. So yes, embarrassingly, I am now taking it off and going to transfer it over onto my training wheel because I'd actually like to be able to spin up some climbs and not have to destroy myself every time I go up a hill. Alrighty, my new physique Antares has just shown up in the post. I think that took like three or four days, so not too bad. And here it is. This fancy little box comes the seat. An evolution and saddle fitting. I don't know what all this rubbish is. Oh jeepers. So here is my new physique Antares saddle. This is the um, mostly black and then like a tiny bit of grey here. It was the only one that was identical to the one that um, I broke. So this is the uh, titanium railed one and it still has like the carbon weave on the bottom just like my old one. And I've actually got my little uh, rear piece because Bernie hasn't stolen it this time. Alrighty, we're going to take this down to the bike, replace it, and then I'm probably going to have to put my seat up a little bit because I um, changed my crank length from 172.5 to 170s. Alrighty, the physique seat is in place on the uh, chapter two. So now I've just got to do a little bit of adjusting to see where I want to sit it. And then I might need to, I've already like slightly put the seat up, maybe like a centimeter, centimeter and a half. So I probably have a centimeter to go to see how I feel. Also, another thing that I've picked up, um, it goes on the back of the seat there, is instead of having my GoPro always on the front handlebars of my bike, I was like, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit for the race videos. Got this little like, alloy piece that sits on the back of the um, rails of the seat, and you can put the GoPro on it. Actually, I'll put it on now so I can show you. And there it is, so literally the GoPro just sits on the back of the seat like that, facing backwards. A real nice clean little piece of alloy there, just sits on the back rails. And then press the GoPro on, and then off you go. So yeah, these are the two new little upgrades to the bike. So, new physique Antares, oh I guess, and the power meter's pretty new. And then this little uh, GoPro mount. So I finally, finally got Zwift to work the other day. So I finally got Zwift working. I've got it on the laptop sitting here, connected to the new power meter, and then I've got it, and then I've got it Chromecasted onto my um, big screen here, just in front of my uh, chapter two here. So I've got a pretty good setup. So I'm probably gonna do like an hour, an hour and a half. I have a session to do today. I have um, 15 times 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, full gas. So I'll probably just do that while I'm riding on Zwift. 15 seconds to my first swiffle race. Alright, so I did the third round of the Capiti Winter Series on um, Saturday. So I went out there and I did like 37 kilometers before we even started the race. So as it's been for the last two weeks, the exact same course, three wire loops out and back, like shit tons of U-turns and dead flat, no hills. 
But uh, yeah, this weekend the A grade group just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and we had our biggest one um, yet so far, so quite a few turned up and then a few quite good guys turned up that haven't been there before so that really um, stirred up the race and obviously they didn't have any points from the previous rounds so they had nothing to lose so they just went out there and basically ripped everyone's legs off. So um, I was thinking that the break was going to form quite late on but it actually formed quite early. I think it formed just at the end of the first lap or the, end of the, or the start of the second lap and I thought it wasn't going to go until like halfway through the second lap. So basically a break of five went up the road and um, we never caught them. Our group worked pretty inconsistently. I just sat on the back because I was pretty dead anyway. This is a little bit of race footage from that race. Yeah, so the fourth round, the final round of the Capiti series is this um, this Sunday. There's also a uh, the second round of the Capital Criterium series on Sunday. So quite a bit of just like small fast club racing coming up. And then at the end of the month, I'm heading up to Cambridge for a bit of a camp with the new team. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you have not already. Take your clothes off What's in my drink? It won't let me Zones off and depressed Girl, overdose on zones